Hey, what's up everybody? Got my buddy Steve from Boston in the background. Hope it don't bother you. And my little girl's with me tonight, hanging out on a Saturday night in the garage. Always a lot of fun. So I wanted to show you guys a little trick when your Floyd's going in and out of tune. It can oftentimes be something as simple as where it gets locked down up here at the top. Uh, the string can slide back and forth even though you got these clamped down. And if you clamp them down too hard with these cheap, you know, nuts, then what happens is it either snaps the string or it strips the bolt. So here's a little trick. You take a piece of foam sanding block like that. When you push down on that foam, you see how it, it kind of takes the contour of this piece see if I can show you guys that see how it goes down in there well what that'll do is that'll put some pressure on the edges of this and it'll kind of round them off so that the string instead of getting held right out here by the edges will get held by this center piece also I flatten these off a hair so that the bolt sits in there these are from my old engine building days I used to get to stare over the shoulder of a few masters, as AVE says it, uh, and I get pressure on the whole thing that way. And I've even flattened these off before so that the bolt sits in there nice and flat, but you gotta not care about ruining this piece. To me, this is a tool, so I don't care about that. I want it to perform. I don't really care about how pretty it looks, but if yours is pretty, then you may not wanna do that. But so what I do is by pushing it down on that sanding block like that, it, it will push you into there and it will radius those corners so that the when the string goes through here like that, it doesn't just sit here out here on this edge or this edge, okay? It catches that whole center piece, okay? Well, I did that on this one and I still have a problem. You can actually see where these are coated. This is probably a zinc and copper coating. Um, truthfully, I don't know what that is, but that's what it looks like to me. And you can see, hopefully in that light, let me see if I can get the light just right. Maybe I can move this other light I have. There it is. You can see right here on this edge where the zinc and copper coating stops from me radiusing these edges so that when the pressure is here, it catches the string from here to here. Is that, hope that makes sense from there to there. And then what you do is once you've got this semi-flat, because these were really bad, they were raised on the ends like this. Like if you looked at the ends, these were raised here on the ends. So by flattening these off and then putting some scratch marks in here when you're all done, it'll lock that string in place. Now there's a big argument about that being a problem because what will happen there is People say, well, it gives it micro abrasions. Well, if it's going out of tune, you got a bigger problem than micro abrasions, especially if you change your strings as often as I do. But this is a quick fix to these and a good fix for a, a not so high end Floyd. Um, but if you, like I say, just radius off these corners and then put some abrasions across where they're gonna lay the string across there like that, what it'll do is it'll lock that string from there to there, right in the center over top of where the bolt is, and it'll lock that string in place. So I hope that helps you guys. Remember that I love you. I'm gonna try to shoot more little videos like this because the big production of the big videos are tough for me. So I'm gonna try to send more stuff to you guys like this. I hope you're all well. That's one of my Floyd Rose tricks. I have plenty and I'll just start giving you guys some other tricks as far as yeah, guitars and stuff. I've been getting a lot of questions about that kind of thing on the email. So, uh, love you guys. Don't forget to go help somebody. Go help somebody. Do something nice for somebody. Hey, remember, I'm you rock. And if you help somebody, you rock. Say good night, babe. That's right. You're awesome, kid. All right, guys. Peace out. I'll see you soon.